Hey guys, John with Off Grid Homesteading. Just want to give you an update on the build progress. So, sorry I didn't have a chance to set up the. Uh, it's just so windy right now. Just started. Um, sorry, I did not have a chance to set up the camera. We had limited time with our friend here. We needed to get the backhoe up and running and get this going. So we were able to lift this up very scarily. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this in sections. Um, this section, this part over here, and uh, just do a little bit of time, raise it up, put it in place, and move on. So um, just because we don't have uh, the extra help and stuff out here, I gotta sorry try to block the camera from the air over here. So um, let me just show you where we're at. So anyway, uh, we got the wall here uh, plumb. This plumb is like in get this thing uh, with the plumb bob and then uh, built this framing here uh, tied in with the uh, top plate at the top there you put the sheeting and stuff up here and then I'm gonna put the uh, the window and stuff here. I need to go out and get a few more supplies some more lag bolts and things like that and uh, some stuff for the header uh, to put in there but anyway here's the outside it's looking pretty good And then I'm gonna finish up the addition to the addition right here, probably a little bit later today. Um, get the decking and stuff on here as well. And then we'll come back and uh, put insulation in this section underneath it later, you know, just so we can get this thing rolling. And, because we gotta get our stuff out of storage and uh, we have our stuff over our friend's house to so basically let us stay there and just take care of the in our house there. Uh, there we got a little 15 by 30 pole barn. So we got our, our boxes and stuff over there that we need to get our couch and other stuff in here because that's the only place to put it and get our other boxes and put it into that trailer right there and uh, our sewing equipment stuff is going to go over to our shenanigan friends Paul and Deb and we're going to get that stuff over there. So um, anyway this is starting to look good. I did have to raise the floor at the other end it sunk a little bit and uh, re-shim it and I've got to figure out a way to um, put some concrete underneath the pad and uh, just kind of shim that up um, but that is where we're at today okay I'm gonna set the camera up and do a little bit of work and then we got to run some get some supplies and do more work later thanks for watching
Well, a nice 75 degree day. I'm gonna be down to 32 degrees tonight. So um, I've gotta go in and make a call to our son who's in the uh, Dominican Republic right now at uh, a boarding school where his mom sent him to. Whole nother story. But anyway, long story short, you gotta make a call uh, to him every Wednesday night uh, for about 20 minutes. We're gonna be doing that, so I don't think I'm gonna have time to finish the uh, header and stuff up tonight. So let me just kind of show you what I have gotten accomplished, and uh, we can go from there. Okay. So we've got, let me start to take this off. So this is going to be a pretty doggone big window. Um, since anyway, it's 58 inches by 74 inches. Uh, it's casement, so it's a, a crank out type. And um, so it looks like I'm going to have to custom make the header on here because it's going to be a little bit shorter than uh, regular two by uh, two by ten. So I'll have to cut this piece down, see if I can find another piece where I can bridge the gap and as uh, um, Jim, one of our followers has mentioned is uh, make sure you got a layer on the bottom and layer on the top. You can do three layers if you want, but two is uh, more than enough from what he was uh, talking about. So I'm going to do that. And then the other thing, I was going to take another board and basically put one flat down here so that it's got a nailing surface uh, uh, to get into on the uh, the wall that goes that direction. So I'll be tying in this beam here. I ended up cutting off these ends here so that um, there wasn't something just kind of sticking over and I had to deal with the, uh, that. So we'll be um, nailing this directly into that. And then um, at the top right there will be um, putting the top plate and uh, tying both of the uh, the right side and the left side in together. So anyway, it is coming along. That's it for um, today for now. I know it doesn't seem like it's very much, but we had a number of other things we were getting ready.